Hello, Jacob here for PC Games N, and today we're going to be talking about what AMD announced over at its E3 conference. Let's get to it. So you thought AMD was done with its Ryzen range after Computex? Oh, no, 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 no. It actually has the Ryzen 9 3950X. 3950X. That's a new one. But that's going to be a 16-core dual chiplet chip that will run at 3.5 base clock and a 4.7 boost clock, which is actually the highest of the lot. So obviously that dual chiplet design is paying dividends over AMD. And that processor is only 105 watts, which is the same as the 3800X, which is also a Ryzen 9 chip. And you'll be able to get your hands on that processor come September for $749. But I know what you're here for, that's AMD Navi. And luckily, AMD did talk quite a bit on that front over at its E3 event. There's going to be two cards which will launch on July 7th, and that's the 5700 XT and the 5700. The 5700 XT will come with 40 compute units, that's the top spec amount of any of the cards that they're launching, and it will have up to 9.75 teraflops of performance, which means absolutely nothing to gamers, but there we go, sounds good. It will also be equipped with 8GB of GDDR6 and be able to boost up to 1,905 MHz from 1,605 MHz base clock. And all that for a price of $449. And the 5700 will come with 36 compute units, which is only 4 less than its bigger sibling, and up to 7.9 teraflops, which is fine. 8 gigabytes of GDDR6 on this one, and it will boost up to 1,725 megahertz from 1,465 megahertz. And that one will set you back $379 on July 7th when these cards both launch. And these cards will require two PCIe power connectors, one 8-pin and one 6-pin, which will power a 7-phase VRM to the GPU. But luckily that will get you RTX 2070 performance in 1440p for the top tier card, and RTX 2060 performance from the slightly lower spec card. But there's one more card that AMD couldn't wait to announce, and that's the card that will celebrate its 50 years as a company, the 5700 XT 50th Anniversary Edition, which is actually clocked higher than the top tier XT card that's going to be out. The special edition of the Radeon RX 5700 XT will come with the highest clock speeds yet, featuring a base clock of 1680 MHz and a boost clock of 1980 MHz, and that's roughly a 4% increase over the regular Radeon RX 5700 XT. But the best thing about that card, and probably the reason you're actually going to buy it, is that it comes with a gold trim shroud that looks pretty dashing. And also it is signed by Lisa Su, and we all know that makes the GPU go faster. So all that performance from those cards comes from the new RDNA architecture, which is built on the 7 nanometer process node. The biggest change with this architecture is that it's got a brand new compute unit design, a multi-level cache hierarchy, and a streamlined graphics pipeline. And all of that really helps it to compute and get through your games a little bit quicker than the last gen. But even though that's on this 7 nanometer process node, and sometimes we are blinded a bit to think that that's where all the performance comes from, that actually only accounts for 30% of the performance increase with this card over the last generation. The rest of it actually comes from the changes they've made to the architecture and the way that it is dealing with the information that needs to get out to play your games. There's also the new Radeon anti-lag technology, which will reduce latency by 35% for all you esports pros, and everyone that wants to be an esports pro, and anyone that's better at games than me. And also there's going to be a new Radeon image sharpening tech and Fidelity FX suite for developers to help make their games look and play a little nicer. So hopefully that was everything you hoped for, and you can get your hands on one of these cards come July 7th. Well, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, ring the bell, do all that stuff, and also check back on PCGamesN.com for more E3 coverage. Thanks for watching.